Oh, she's up. Oh, morning. Would madam like a sausage or three? She would, you cheeky sailor. Oh. Here, what are those? Oh, hey, you can't whack it, Maxwell. What have got here? We can whack it out with Beverly Callard. That's not right, it's supposed to be flubber. It is. Stick it in, let's have a laugh. And here we go. Beautiful. Right. Give me your body and I'll transform it. You don't believe me, but it's true. Like a ginger oh, Brian May. Two more. That's not a workout, that, all that Namby Pomby dancing. She wants to try crawling through her own oh, shit with scud missiles whistling past her ears. Bloody hell, if I made one of these, I'd make a fortune and all. Hey, it's not a bad idea, that, you know. What? We could do that, make one of these videos. Who? Who? Me and thee. A fitness DVD. You're army training. I used to teach them classes down gym. We'd clean up, Max. Well, who'd, who'd buy it? We're not celebrities. Celebrity? You don't have to be a celebrity these days. Look at Wayne Rooney's missus. Oh, you're not wrong. Yeah, that's what they need, a proper workout. That's what they get and all. Bit of army discipline. Yeah, oh, we'd give them a workout. Dorman style. Eh, once fit, always fit. You're right, and you could do with getting a bit off and all. How dare you? I'm fitter than you'll ever bloody be. All I'd be doing is putting a bit of fine tuning on it. Luke, we could both do with losing a bit. Get rid of some of that and get some of that. This is The Power of Two. Finally, a workout for ordinary people like us, overweight and underpaid. Whoever you are and whatever you do, getting fit is up to you. With Max and Paddy's Power of Two, it's for everybody's body. And this is the, the power, power of two. two. Oh. <laughs> OK, here's the script. We've put together this fitness routine for two reasons. One, money. And two, because it's finally going to be a workout for everybody's body. That's right, an extraordinary workout for ordinary people like yourselves. OK, now let's say hello to our Power of Two team, Team Power. Yeah. Oh. In you come. In you come, come on. I, as you can clearly see, there's nothing special about this lot. Just ordinary people like you and me. Say hello, Team Power. Hello. Say hello individually. Have a bit of manners. Hello, I'm Sue. Hello, I'm Valerie. Hello, I'm Sandra. Hello, I'm Jackie. Glenn. Glenn? Old army buddy, mate of mine. Powerhouse. Where's his T-shirt? Oh, oh, likes Tina. And let's welcome our special Power of Two physical fitness consultants from DD Productions, Candice and Roxy. Ooh. Here you come, girls. Oh, hello. Whoa, whoa. What's, that, what's all that about? OK, let's work that body. Just keep nice and flat, lying on your stomach. And relax. Staying on your stomachs. We're gonna do a little stretch for our back. Put your hands by your sides. And just arch your back up. Get your hips on the floor as you do this. That's it. It's only natural, Max. You wanna have a bit of manners, love? What's your name? Valerie, I'm really sorry. Are you some, are you some kind of a pig? No. I do apologize, ladies and gentlemen. A glass full of pigs. Oh, and down. Like I said, here's another alternative stretch. Still on the hamstrings, you're going to put your knee over your partner's leg, grab hold of the opposite foot, put it on your shoulder, keep this leg nice and straight, supporting the knee, and just give a little push forward. I bet you've been in this position before, haven't you, little minx, eh? Look at them. 
Flat stroke and a red setters told me. How are you going on, Max? Not good, Patrick. Christ, you've let yourself go, Glenn. It's like milking a bull. Dang, do. Dang, dang, do. Come on, cat here. Dang, dang, do. Dang, dang, do. Come on, Valerie. Dang, dang, do. Feel that fat burning. Dang, dang, do. Push away them jaffa kicks, them party rings. Five. Six. Reach for that right meter, Valerie. Not them jammy dodgers. It's no good looking round, look, the book stops here. Hey, it's too late now. You've only got yourself to blame. <laughs> Five, six, seven, eight. Up and down. Sixteen of these. Four. Five. Six. Seven. All right, Valerie, come on. Bet you wish you were my bollocks at the end of your knee, eh? Yeah. So, Marley, you feel strong, huh? Yeah. Come on, then. Seven. I'm going to change now. Eight. One, two, three, and go. One, two, duck. Come on, let's see you. Bloody hell, Paddy. I think I just saw one of Ali's ribs. Piss off. Oh, God. Get up, Max. Stop messing about, son. Hey! You are bangering them all, love. Two more. It's a workout. One more. A little warning. How much? If you're doing this at home, no word jewellery. Let's pass it up. Four inch sovereigns like Valerie. Don't be busted eye out there, love. Woo. I don't even notice, but Valerie's box is empty. She's not here. She's gone. I won't stand for it, right? I'm telling you the woman a favour. She didn't rip me friggin' eye out. You look up with the same. You want to put your ideas up. <laughs> On Max's count. For five, seven, no! Sixteen of these. Christ, Dougie, are these second none? They do stink, don't they? Mine smells of strawberries. Mine doesn't, Max. Too slow, Glenn. Come on. Six. I don't know if you've noticed, but Candice and Roxy are using two dildos. Hey, Glenn, what are you that. doing, man? You're way out. You're way out. Letting me down. Other side. Come on. Shape up a shit out, Glenn. Five, six, seven. No. Seven, eight, and one. These guns weren't scoped overnight, girls. Got these in the Falklands next to Thatcher. Four to war over corned beef for that bitch. Come on. <laughs> Arsehole. Take me other eye out, you daft pillock. That's the triceps over. We're still sticking with the upper body with Her Majesty's rest ups. Press ups? Come on, Paddy, we're not winding it up now. Knack it here, we've done enough. Get to our old friend, Mr. Stretch. Now, if we don't visit Mr. Stretch, then we can expect a visit from Mr. Stiff. And nobody wants a visit from Mr. Stiff, do they? Candice might later. Okay, now, Mr. Stretch will always be there for us. At the beginning and the end of every worker, he'll never leave you. He'll never leave you stranded in the shit. Slight like Glenn. Will he, Glenn, eh? Oh, no. Stranded, like I was in Port Stanley in 82, on me own, playing hopscotch while our minds in the pitch train with the enemy laughing. But I weren't fucking laughing, were I, Glenn? Oh, no. Where were the armoured cars? Where were the backup? Uh, where were you, Glenn? I had no choice. You had choices. There's always choices. You let me down. You let the regiment down. He cries at night, that lad. Glenn, pick him up. I rang a takeaway last night. I said, do you deliver? They said, no, we do lamb, chicken and fish. <laughs> Bang, phone down. <laughs> now we've started, now we've started. 